Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Shumanati, a.k.a. Grown, back with another vid. Today, I want to show you guys how to legit check a pair of Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 in the zebra colorway. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the thumbs up on this video, clickety click that like button, share this on Twitter. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the Shumanati Show. Follow me on all my social medias. I drop links in the description box down below. And go make sure you check out the archive over 500 videos. With that being said, let's get right into this legit check, guys. It's the Shumanati Show. Let go. Number one. First, we're going to start off with the box. This is a US size 13, style code CP9654. The official colorway is white, sea black, and red. I purchased this sneaker for a suggested retail price of $220 on June 24th, 2017 at the Mall of Georgia in Beaufort, Georgia. I said if you want to legit check your pair, make sure you pay attention to the font lettering on the box. That would definitely give it away if you have a fake pair of Yeezys. You should see boost on one side and the other side should be blank and 350 on top of the box now let's take a look at the contents in the inside of the box usually you'll always see that off-white creamish multi-layered paper on the inside some boxes have a quality control sticker my particular pair doesn't but like I always like to say if you want to know 100% if you have a legit pair you should have the reseller provide a receipt I have my credit card receipt my official receipt from finish line as well and you have my name they wrote on a piece of paper that they put on the box as well as my raffle ticket I can 100% prove without a shadow of a doubt that I got my pair from finish line and this is official retail pair of Yeezys but this is the box ladies and gentlemen and here she is the crown jewel the reason why we're all here we're gonna take a look at the outsole. If you pay close attention to the boost, you should see the three stripes throughout the middle. And this boost is very soft, like very soft. If you have a pair in hand, you will definitely be able to tell. But the biggest thing you should know about this sneaker is the outsole is more of a creamish. It's not that white that you notice that you'll see on the side of the sneaker. It is definitely a cream colorway. It is totally different color from the midsole. This is more of a straight white. This is more of a cream. So make sure you pay attention to that. Most fakes have that, but just in case, you definitely need to make sure you pay attention to that. Of course, you'll have that cream outsole, and right on the back of the heel, you'll have a stripe of that cream as well. You might not be able to see it in the camera, but it is definitely like that in person. You should see a strip of cream on the heel of the Yeezy V2. And that is the outsole. Next, I always like to say, pay attention to your stripe. Pay attention to the lettering. This is more of a varsity red. And pay attention to the pixels in the Supply 350. They should both be mirroring on both sides of the sneaker as well. But the biggest thing about the fakes is the pixelation is off on the lettering. A lot of the time the red is too bright and it is too big. So make sure you're paying attention to that Supply 350. And if you need some help, feel free to screenshot this right now. Next, we're going to talk about the insole. One of the easiest ways to legit check a pair of Yeezys is simply by paying attention to the insole. This is one thing the replica companies still have not mastered and I doubt if they ever will. Pay close attention to the font, the lettering, how close the Adidas symbol is in between the Yeezy and the lettering of Adidas and the outside. Pay attention to how nice the craftsmanship is with the cut overall. The Adidas symbol is raised but yet it has grooves and indentions throughout the entire heel love it pay attention to that guys all of the little small details that is the biggest thing about Yeezys what makes them Yeezys the attention to detail you can see the sizing I'm a size 13 but they have 11.5 through a 12.5 because my sneaker is so big but definitely pay attention to that feel free to take screenshots things of this nature will definitely help you legit check your Yeezys this is the insole. 
Once again, on the inside of the shoe, you should get small, balled up paper. This is like a very whitish, it should be small, balled up. That should be on the inside of the Yeezy. It shouldn't be nice and fitted and grooved in the inside. It should be very sloppy and just some sloppy paper just thrown in the inside. All of those come in the inside of legit Yeezys. And I always like to say, pay close attention to that zebra pattern. Your stripe should always end just before the toe. That is always an easy way to legit check your pattern on your zebra. A lot of the fakes, the pattern is just slightly off or it'll stop just a little before it should. But that is another way to legitly check your Yeezy Boost 350 Zebras. And last but not least, every legit Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Zebra should come with this sticker in the inside of the shoe. Now I know replica companies are working on these and they're coming soon in the fakes, but as of right now, they do not exist and only legit authentic pairs have this sticker. So definitely look out for this sticker. Nine times out of 10, if they sneaker has this sticker, they might be legit. Most fakes do not have this sticker as of right now, but definitely keep a close eye on that. But as of right now of making this video, this is one of the easiest ways to tell if the Yeezy is real or not. Most fake Yeezys do not have this sticker. So definitely pay attention to that. And this is how you legit check a pair of Yeezy Boost 350 in a zebra colorway. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Hit the thumbs up on this video. Clickety click that like button. I hope this video helps someone. Whether you're watching this video weeks, months, or even years down the line. These are the guidelines you want to follow to make sure you are getting a legit pair of Yeezys. This sneaker can sell upwards of $1,000. So you want to make sure you are purchasing the real deal if you are spending that kind of money. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hit that thumbs up. Follow me on all my social medias. Shout out to all my supporters and everyone who supports me and stops by the channel. Shout out to the whole Illumination. I see you guys in the next one. So you know how we do about this time. It's grown and I approve this message. Intangible entertainment. We famous, bitch. It's grown. I'm gone. Intangible entertainment. We famous, bitch.